In the heart of Nigeria, an extraordinary initiative is making waves in the realm of education and sustainability. Welcome to the Morit International School, where a novel approach to tuition fee payment is turning heads and changing lives. Here, students are encouraged to bring in plastic bottles, yes, you heard that right, plastic bottles, as a form of payment for their education. This unique initiative is the brainchild of the school's founder, Patrick Mbamara. His vision? to tackle two significant challenges faced by his community, the financial strain of education and the environmental impact of plastic waste. By accepting plastic bottles as tuition, Imbamara not only alleviates the financial stress on families but also instills a sense of responsibility towards the environment in the younger generation. Imagine a world where plastic waste is not a burden, but a solution, a means to education. Now, one might wonder, what impact does this initiative hold for the community and the environment? Well, let's delve into that, shall we? At the heart of it all, the initiative has made education more accessible for low-income families. A minimum of 20 plastic bottles per term is all it takes to secure a child's education and this has been a game-changer for many families struggling with financial challenges. But the benefits don't stop there. This initiative has also sparked a crucial conversation about recycling, it's instilled a sense of responsibility in students and their families, fostering a culture of sustainable living. The sight of children bringing plastic bottles to school is a stark reminder of the pressing need to recycle and manage our waste effectively. And let's not forget about the reduction in plastic waste. Each bottle brought to school is one less cluttering our streets, our water bodies, and our landfills. The partnering company collects these bottles for recycling, ensuring they don't contribute to the ever-growing plastic pollution problem. But the initiative wouldn't have been so successful without the backing of the local government. Their support has been instrumental in driving this project forward, reinforcing its credibility and impact. And the result? A cleaner, more sustainable environment. The school's efforts have significantly contributed to this, turning what was once seen as a nuisance into a resource. In the face of adversity, this initiative has turned plastic waste, often seen as a bane, into a boon. This unique approach has not gone unnoticed. The community's response has been overwhelmingly positive. The Morit International Schools initiative has sparked a wave of enthusiasm and support within the community. Families not only relieved of financial burden, but also empowered to contribute to a cleaner environment, have embraced this innovative approach to education and sustainability. The sight of students bringing plastic bottles to school has become a common and welcomed spectacle. It's a testament to the power of collective action, a visual representation of the community's commitment to tackling the pressing issue of plastic waste. This initiative has spurred a broader conversation about environmental consciousness and the importance of recycling, and the ripple effect doesn't stop there. The success of the Morit International School has inspired other schools across Nigeria to adopt similar initiatives. It has shown that change is possible when we think outside the box and use our resources creatively. In the grand scheme of things, this initiative is not just about paying tuition fees with plastic bottles. It's about creating a better future, a sustainable future, and making education accessible to all. Because innovative solutions like these are not just a choice anymore, they're a necessity.